hello everyone and welcome back to my channel i'm so excited for today's video you guys we are doing dutch bros holiday drinks i'm so so excited okay so i actually let me see there's more over here there is four five six of them so i have six drinks i don't have any food i don't think dutch bros came out with holiday food and if they did i'm so sorry because i didn't get any of it but I did get the drinks. I think I got everything that they had, and there were six of them, like I said. Um, so let's kind of go ahead and just dive in. I don't even know what to start with. Okay, so I have all the drinks like written down. That's how I ordered. So I'm actually just going to go in order of what my list says. So the first one that we're going to try is the Peppermint Bliss Cold Brew. It looks okay. I don't like the color down here. That's not like my vibe. <laughs> But look, it's got um, soft top on it and then the red sprinkles. I think they're peppermint. Let me see. Oh yeah, those are peppermint pieces. It looks good. If you guys watch my other video, I think it was my Dunkin' one where I tried the peppermint drink. I didn't like it, but I'm not the biggest fan of peppermint. But I do want to give everything a fair shot. So let's go ahead and try this. that's good you guys that is actually really good that soft top i don't think that i've ever had dutch bros soft top it's good mm. Ooh. yeah you guys, I thought I was not going to like that one because, like I said, I don't like peppermint. But that is so good. <gasps> and the red on top is definitely peppermint pieces. It tastes like a candy cane. But they're good and they're crunchy. Mmm. Yes. I have never had a bad experience at Dutch Bros. But you guys, today, like, I mean, like, service-wise, like, they're always so nice and so patient. But you guys, the girl at Dutch today, I don't know if she, like, didn't like me or what, but she was not kind. The guy that took my order was nice, but then once I got to the window, she, like, would not acknowledge that I was there. Like, usually, if you've ever been to Dutch Bros, you know. No, she, like, would not look at me. She didn't say a word to me. And then she just, like, kind of, like, handed the drinks out the window and still not even a word. Hold on, there's a jet flying by. I do live near the Air Force Base, so there are constantly jets flying by, but I don't want you guys to hear that in the video or anything, so I think it's almost gone. You guys, I am so sorry if you don't have a Dutch Bros in your state. I know that it's not like Starbucks or Dunkin' where they're just kind of everywhere on every corner. So if you don't have a Dutch Bros in your state, I am so sorry. I did want to do this Dutch Bros video. Um, I did actually get a couple requests to do it. And you guys, actually my sister paid for all these drinks and she's just the best. So shout out to my sister for sponsoring today's video. Okay, but I think we're good. I think the jet's gone. So let's go ahead and try another one. Um, okay, Glacier Peak Rebel. So if you guys have ever had Dutch Bros, you know that the Rebel is like their version of an energy drink. And you guys, I hate energy drinks. I don't like these. My husband gets these all the time. So I actually got this in a medium. Um, I got this in a medium size so that my husband can have it. He said he wanted a drink, so this will be his drink. And you guys, like I said, I hate energy drinks, so I probably will not like this, but I'm going to try it for the sake of the video. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> um, it's not about flavor, you guys. It's just like that energy drink taste that gets me every time. So, I mean, it's not, it almost tastes like um, candy apple. That's what it tastes like, like green candy apple. Okay, it's really not that bad. It's just that like energy drink aftertaste that... I just like I can't well I don't think I'm gonna drink any more of this one and it is for my husband so I don't want to like bring it to him halfway gone you guys I just noticed that out of all these six drinks 
only one of them is hot which is fine i love ice drinks but i didn't even ask like hot ice like i didn't they didn't specify or they didn't ask me like do you want a hot or do you want an ice so i'm guessing these drinks just come iced and the girl that was at the window with her little attitude um didn't even give me a straw like i can't even drink these with a straw or like even like mix them so whatever i should keep some extra straws in here for when that happens and you guys she didn't even like write on it or anything i don't know what's what or who's who okay yeah so this is gonna be the hazelnut truffle mocha it has a soft top and it looks like it has like um maybe caramel on it okay let's try oh that's good You guys, this is so good. Mmm. Ah, oh, it just tastes like a treat. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's definitely a hazelnut um, flavor. It's not super strong coffee. Like, it's not like, you know, hit you in the face coffee. And it says hazelnut truffle mocha. And I'm not a mocha person. Like, I do not really like mocha. But this is good. Mm. I would definitely order this again. Honestly, you guys, out of Dunkin', Starbucks, and Dutch Bros, I would say, and I've only tried three drinks so far, that Dutch Bros is my fave. Like, Dutch Bros is killing it. I think, I don't know. I haven't tried the rest of them, so I don't say, I don't want to say which one I'm going to drink the rest of. The peppermint one, I told my mother-in-law she could have it. She's at the house right now with Penny. So, she's watching Penny for me so I could do the video, but... um. I told her she could have the peppermint one because she requested that one. But I don't know. I might drink the rest of this one. That hazelnut truffle is good. Okay, guys. So next on the list is the hazelnut truffle. It's also hazelnut truffle um, hot cocoa. I do love some good hot cocoa. So let's see. Ooh, that's sweet. That's good. If you're not a fan of like super sweet drinks and stuff like that, this is not for you. This is super sweet, but it's good. Mm. Yeah, that's really sweet. And you guys, I love sweet. So for me to be like, mm, that's a little too sweet. Yeah. That is really good though. Like I like it, but like I said, if you don't like like really sweet stuff, like my dad hates like things that are sweet like no this is a no-go but i think it's good would i order again probably not just because like hot cocoa is not something i go out and order if i want hot chocolate i'll just make it at home you know i'd rather go and like order a coffee but it is super good though i like it i'm like getting full i'm full of liquids <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with all these drinks. I have one for my husband, one for my mother-in-law, and I'll probably keep one for myself. I guess I could probably put one in the fridge for tomorrow. I don't know. Maybe I'll go drop one off to my friend. Maybe she'll want one. I don't know. But all the drinks have like my lipstick all over it, so that's kind of gross. <laughs> the next one that I do have on my list is a white chocolate chai latte. I love chai lattes. So I think I'm going to love this, but look, you guys, it's like white. So it looks sweet and like creamy. I don't know. Let's try it. Oh, that's not what I was expecting. It's subtle. I was not expecting that. I thought it would be like sweet, like really like white chocolate, like a lot of white chocolate. But it's not. It's actually kind of subtle. It's not too sweet. It's good. I don't think it's my favorite chai tea that I've ever had, but I like it. What is this guy in the RV doing behind me? Are they like camping out in the parking lot? <laughs> oh, I just noticed this blanket right here. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I was so excited to try the drinks. I just got right into it. I didn't even look in my back seat. I did want to mention to you guys really quick before I try the last drink, I am doing a Christmas giveaway. 
I will be doing that in an upcoming video. Um, I'm not sure exactly what video just yet, but definitely stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss the video. I don't know exactly which video it'll be in, but I do want to go ahead and give back to you guys. You guys have been so supportive to my YouTube channel, so I really just like want to return that favor and return the love to you guys. So I definitely do want to do a giveaway, so make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss that. I think I'll put it in the next, like, I don't know, week or so. Um, but we'll see. So let's go ahead and try the last drink. So this is a cinnamon swirl oat milk latte. This is definitely not the color I go for when I do drinks. But I don't want to knock it because all of these drinks have been delicious so far. So I don't expect any less from this one. Hmm. Oh, I don't like it. <laughs> no <laughs> it tastes like coffee with like just a dash of oat milk and maybe some cinnamon sprinkled on top like it's a super strong coffee flavor so if you like that that's definitely for you but for me mm, no definitely not my favorite i don't think i'll be drinking any more of this one honestly <laughs> i don't like it but what i do love is this hazelnut one. I think this is my favorite. My favorite would definitely be the um, hazelnut truffle mocha. And then my second favorite has to be the peppermint, which is so weird. Cause like I said, like I don't like peppermint, but that one is delicious. So that would be my second favorite. I think my third um, would be the chai. I do love some good chai. And then I would say the cocoa and then probably the cinnamon swirl latte and then the rubble. But honestly, the rubble wasn't that bad. Like I said, it's just like not my thing. I just don't, I don't order those kinds of drinks and I don't really enjoy them. So nothing against Dutch Bros. But I think I am going to text my friend and see if she's home so I can drop a coffee off to her. I really don't want these to go to waste because they're so good. Um, I think she would like that cinnamon latte one because she likes more of a strong coffee flavor. So I think I'll do that. I'll go ahead and give her a call. But that is going to be it for today's video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I had so much fun doing these videos for you guys. And I'm so glad that you guys requested it. And again, shout out to my sister for buying us these drinks. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe before you leave. And I will see you next time. Bye. Honestly, you guys, uh, there's another jet coming. <laughs>